Praise be Jesus Christ. Today is the Feast of Saints Anne and Joachim. It's also the feast of a mind-blowing mystic named Saint Miriam of Bethlehem, who is a Carmelite nun canonized in 2015 by Pope Francis. One of the stories of her life is God gave Satan permission to attack her in an intense way for 40 days, just like uh, Satan was given permission to test Job for 40 days. Satan told God, I'm going to show you that Job isn't that righteous. So too, St. Miriam was attacked. And all the devil wanted to do, because St. Miriam, a big part of her spirituality is never complain. Always be content. And what the devil wanted, check this out. The evil one undertook against Miriam. His goal was to push her to complain a single time for the suffering he made her endure. And he declared loudly, I'm going to get one single complaint out of her. And as she was going through this intense attack, sustained attack for 40 days, a lot of the time she wasn't even, she was made mute. She wasn't able to speak. But when she would have times where she could speak, as she's under attack, she would say, Lord, I offer you all this pain for the church for the holiness of priests, for souls in distress, for souls who are lost, and so on. And other times when she, when she would be able to speak, she'd say, I unite myself to Jesus and Mary. I offer my sufferings for those who are against the church. Blessed be my God. Instead of complaints, it was blessings that Miriam addressed to God. Now, th the story is, is just mind-blowing, but very interesting. This is what was revealed to her through her encounters with the Lord and also her attacks against the devil. It says, and this is, by the way, from Sister Emmanuel Maillard's book, Miriam of Bethlehem. It says, the devil in the end is the greatest complainer par excellence. He's eternally frustrated. He excels in deciding that nothing is going well. Now, as I read this, you need to ask yourself, does this describe you? I hope it doesn't. Sometimes this kind of describes me. Complaining, things aren't going well, frustrated. That's not the attitude we're supposed to have. St. Miriam of Bethlehem, she taught, never complain. Always be content. Trust the Lord. She goes on to say he is always ready to rebel. That's the devil. The devil is always ready to rebel. But Miriam adopted the opposite attitude. Our Lady herself had given her this very clear advice. Always be content. And so let this be a warning to all of us. We don't want to be like the devil. Again, the devil in the end is the greatest complainer par excellence. He's eternally frustrated. He excels in deciding that nothing is going well. So I encourage you today with the help of St. Miriam of Bethlehem, to give thanks to the Lord. Scripture says, Rejoice in the Lord always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances. Viva Cristo Rey.